which of the following statement relating to the meniscus tear is false we know there are two important meniscus one is the medial meniscus and another one is the lateral meniscus so two important meniscus present in the knee joint so which of the knee is not true regarding the meniscus here the options options are the medial meniscus most commonly affected true locking of the knee joint may occur most established tears will heal with conservative management in chronic setting there is typically little to find in examination if the knee is not locked an arthroscopic approach may be used to treatment the most of the lesion <coughs> so first of all <coughs> let's see uh, two important meniscus one is the medial meniscus another one is the lateral meniscus this one is the medial meniscus so this is the medial meniscus of the knee joint and this one is the lateral meniscus of the knee joint so these two are the meniscus of the knee joint and among this this the medial meniscus is most commonly injured and the lateral meniscus it is less commonly injured in this picture also here we can see the meniscus tear this one is the medial meniscus and this one is the lateral meniscus and in this picture we are showing this is the lateral meniscus tear which is the less common also there are some important ligaments such as this one is the medial collateral ligament and it is attached to this medial meniscus on the other hand in the laterally there is lateral collateral ligament but it is not attached to the lateral meniscus so let's see the meniscus tear it is the rotational sport injury in the knee joint and delayed knee swelling so this is the key point which is the delayed knee swelling delayed knee, swe knee swelling it is the diagnostic point for meniscus tear because the anterior cruciate ligament posterior cruciate ligament in case of anterior cruciate ligament or cruciate ligament injury there is a rapid swelling that means the, when there is trauma suddenly there is swelling but in case of meniscus tear yeah, there is swelling but it is delayed swelling also there is this joint locking occur so in case of meniscus tear joint locks but sometimes patient are able to unlock the knee due to habitual effect repeated development of the joint locking recurrent episode of the pain and effusion may be developed following a minor trauma that means uh, uh, the patient meniscus tear occurs but ignore this condition in this condition what occur in case after a minor trauma there is pain swelling or uh, effusion develop meniscus have no nerve supply no blood supply it receives its nutrition directly from the joint fluid so in this condition as it is no direct blood supply so the heal very poorly that means the healing of the meniscus tear is very poor and it should be best managed by arthroscopic arthroscopic meniscectomy that means the conservative treatment almost all time fails in case of meniscus tear and we should go for the surgery in case of the meniscus tear so what is need true or what is false option what is false option regarding the meniscus tear the conservative management usually it not the here we can see the most of the established tears will heal with conservative treatment it is not true because most of them required arthroscopic approach and medial meniscus is most commonly affected it is also true true locking occurs of the knee joint it also true but some patient uh, may uh, experience with unlocking in chronic setting there is typically little to find in on exam so that means when there is a a uh, chronic condition of the meniscus tear which is ignored in this condition it is difficult to identify an arthroscopic approach may be used to treatment treat the lesion it is also true so only false option that in case of established tear that means there is the uh, severe condition it is not managed by conservative management in this condition we should go for the surgery